It's cold and dark in February, but we're trying to keep things light here in Bradford. We're having so much fun playing in our commercial kitchen. For now, it's all about transforming bakery leftovers into things like baguette chips and breadcrumbs. With our new logo ready to roll, there are so many more possibilities on the horizon. Sweet Beet Farm is also ramping up. We're seeding and planting up a storm. Thanks to our newly heated greenhouse, all the green things are going in the ground, which you can expect to find at Sweet Beet Market before you know it. We've also taken the time to step back and envision where the farm is heading. In 2025, we see Sweet Beet Farm functioning as a space for healing and joy, generated by growing food and nurturing the land. More developments to come. We also got to hang out with our friends at Bradford Elementary this month, visiting them in the classroom for a fun afternoon with seeds. We started flats, dissected beans, and talked about the life cycles of plants. We look forward to their visit to Sweet Beet Farm in the spring. Bradford is leveling up once again. Renovations on the second floor of the old Bradford Inn are underway, making space for Bradford native Leah Cummings to open Evergreen Healing Arts. This yoga studio and treatment space will be operated by a wonderful team of independent teachers and practitioners, providing a little something for everyone in the community. Learn more about all the entities at 11 West Main during the Kearsarge Area Chamber of Commerce Business After Hours, here on March 21st. You can also find us at this year's NOFA New Hampshire Winter Conference. We'll be sitting on a panel to discuss regional collaboration for wholesale distribution of local foods, a topic we've been researching deeply through grant work over the past year and a half. Need more reasons to visit Bradford? Check out the spring edition of the Kearsarge Magazine. Ta-ta for now. With love, the Beats.